In this video, we will explore artificial life and for more understanding, we will try to understand artificial life using different simulations and examples. So as we are going to dive into the world of artificial life, so first we will start with what is life because artificial life simulates different life-like processes. So first we will discuss what is life. Next, what is artificial life? What are artificial beings, computer programs in artificial life and why artificial life is important? First, we will explore the basic of artificial life, including how simple rules can lead to complex behavior and lifelike patterns. Now, imagine a world where lifelike behavior and complex system emerge not from biology but from lines of code and digital simulations. So today we will try to understand this world of artificial life and how computer can help us to understand the basic principles of life itself. First, let's explore what is life because artificial life simulates lifelike processes including evolution, adaption and emergence in non-biological settings. Life exists almost, life exists almost everywhere in air, water and soil. Biosphere is made up of different ecosystems that exist all over the earth in air, water and soil. It include all living organisms and their interactions with each other, their physical environment. Now, by all organisms means from microorganisms to large plants, animals, they coexist and interact with each other. Now, next question is what is artificial life? Artificial life is a scientific field where researchers create computer programs or robots that act like living things. Researchers use different models, simulations or sometimes physical environment to create lifelike behavior or systems that mimics aspects of biological life. So researchers try to make these artificial beings behave adapt and interact with each other like living creatures do. It helps us to understand life and it can be used in various fields like robotics. So these artificial beings are trained in such a way they interact with each other by talking or breaking together that resembles how humans or, or animals interact with each other and how they collaborate and coexist in different environments. So these artificial beings are trained by researchers in such a way they can mimic same like human or sometimes animals how they behave. The next question is how these artificial beings behave, adapt and interact with each other. So as we discussed these artificial beings can mimic different aspects of biological life. So now the question is how these artificial beings behave, adapt and interact with each other. So here we have three points. First, artificial beings can move and do things. Artificial beings behave like real living beings by following rules and instructions that make them to move and do things. So by following simple rules, they can move around, do tasks, and make choices. Next, artificial beings can learn and change. Artificial beings can learn from their experiences and adapt to new situations. It is just like we learn from our mistakes and improve. They are also trained to learn from their mistakes and adapt to new situations. The third one, interaction. Artificial beings can also interact with each other and they can also work together. For example, in the virtual world, they can 
form groups. They can help each other out. Next, we have computer programs in artificial life. So we can make computer programs or robots that act like animals or humans, even though they are not alive. This help us to understand life better and can be used in different fields of science and technology. About computer program, as we know, it is set of instructions or code that tell a computer how to do specific task. So we have here digital world and artificial beings. So researchers use computer programs to create or control the behavior of artificial beings. These programs define how artificial beings react and interact with each other, even how they will interact with their environment by simulating lifelike processes in the digital world or you can say in the virtual world um, the next question is what are artificial beings as we are continuously talking about artificial beings and these artificial beings mimic different biological processes the next question is what are the artificial beings artificial beings are not always robots so in artificial life artificial being not always resemble a specific creature or robot so artificial beings are typically represented as digital entities that follow certain rules and behavior. Now, in context of artificial life, we will see different examples of artificial beings. First, we have artificial tree. First virtual agent we have here, artificial plants. Now imagine a virtual world with computer generated plants that grow, change shape, and respond to environmental conditions. And these artificial plants might compete for light resources and the growth pattern can be modeled using different algorithms. Next virtual wings, we have virtual fish. In digital aquarium, virtual fish can swim, find food and avoid predators. These fish do not have physical bodies, but they are represented as digital entities. So when we are talking about artificial beings, they are not always robots. They can be, they, in artificial life, they can be anything. Next, we have particle systems. Particle systems are used in computer graphics and simulations. Particle system represent particles that move and interact with each other by following certain rules and creating visual effects, visual effects like sparks, water droplets, smoke, and other artificial plants, virtual fish, particle systems, and cellular automata. In the next one, we have cellular automata. These are the grids of the cell that can be in different states. They evolve over time based on rules, and this can create complex patterns and behavior of biological processes. Next, we have swarm of drones. So we can use different drones all together to perform specific tasks. So when we are talking about artificial beings, it is not always a robot or any specific creature. It can be anything in the artificial life. So like this, there are more examples of artificial lives. They can be used to represent different aspects of life. They are not living organisms, but they are designed to mimic lifelike patterns, behavior, interactions in the in the digital or simulated environment the next question is why artificial life is important artificial life help us to understand different aspects of life and it has different applications in different fields for example you can see here in biology artificial intelligence machine learning in medical field weather forecasting optimization art and creativity games and other artificial life can help biologists to better understand biological processes evolution and the origin of life through different simulations and biologists can also use artificial life to study the evolution of species over time in medical field artificial life techniques can be used to model and simulate the behavior of disease the spread of epidemics, even artificial life techniques can be used in medical field for drugs, discovery, 
or vaccine development. In games, we can use artificial life techniques to create realistic environment and we can also use artificial life techniques for the development of artificial intelligence algorithm and machine learning models that adapt and evolve based on experience. We can also use in weather forecasting, in art and creativity and optimization. And the last one we have different artificial life techniques. First we have genetic algorithms. Genetic algorithms are inspired by the natural selection where a population of potential solution is used to solve a specific problem over. Next we have cellular automata. In cellular automata we have grids of cell that evolve over discrete time steps. And set of rules are used here and each cell state is influenced by its neighbor cell state that is leading to the emergence of complex patterns and behaviors. Next one we have neural networks. Artificial neural networks are computational models inspired by the structure and the functions of human brains. They can be used in learning, pattern recognition, in artificial life simulations. Next we have agent-based modeling. In agent-based modeling we have individual agents and they have their own set of rules. They can interact with each other and with the environment and the collective behavior often leads to the emergence of complex phenomena. In the next one we have evolutionary strategies. In these strategies the best performing agent is selected among all and they are used for the optimization purpose. Next one we have swarm intelligence that we already discussed in different videos. Swarm intelligence techniques are inspired by the collective behavior of social organisms like ants, birds, bee colonies and other. They also use for the optimization problems and other. Next we have artificial ecosystems. Artificial life researchers create artificial ecosystems, artificial organisms that interact with each other in the artificial ecosystems. Next we have hybrid systems. Hybrid systems combine different artificial life techniques to create more complex simulations. And the last one we have automata theory. We will discuss all the artificial life techniques in the upcoming videos with more details and examples. So that's all about this video. In this video we dive into the world of artificial life. So in upcoming videos we will explore artificial life in depth with different simulations and real life examples for more details. So that's all about this video. If you have any questions you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.